My name's Corey. If you've been following along the past couple of weeks, I am on an incredible journey through Baja with my good friends Jimmy and Natalie. This week, we head out on our first excursion of the trip, which doesn't quite go to plan. Good morning, everybody. First of all, don't mind the mess behind me. <laughs> I just woke up and I've been getting ready this morning, so I haven't gotten my bed taken care of yet. But today we are going on our first excursion of this trip and I am so excited for this. It's one of the things that we looked up before we even came down here and knew that it was something that we wanted to do. And it's something I've never done before. And that is we're going whale watching. We went yesterday to a place called Mario's Tours and we talked with them and signed up to go on the excursion today. We ended up having to get up at 5.30 this morning because the time zones are different down here. You would think that all of Baja would be the same time zone because it pretty much just goes north and south. However, Baja California is in the Pacific time zone and Baja California Sur, which is where the tour place is, is in the mountain time zone. Like we're literally a few miles into Baja California. So we're not exactly sure of the time. <laughs> We've been keeping an eye on our phones, um, but, and they haven't updated. So we just decided to get up early just to be safe. So we're leaving at 6.30. We have to be there at 7.30. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get there, but we just wanted to get there early to make sure we didn't miss anything. And yeah, we're gonna go watch some whales today. All right, so we've made it out here to the place where we're gonna go whale watching. It's called Mario's Tours. And this place was not quite as expensive as the other places that we looked at, so that's really good. And we saw in the reviews that this place, other places might not either, but it was specifically said that this place, they don't chase the whales. They let the whales come to them, and we like that, so that's why we decided to go with Mario's Tours. said good luck. I'm not sure how to take that. Uh -uh. And then said beware, watch out for the sharks. <laughs> Honestly, I would be very excited to see a shark. That would be pretty neat. Yeah. The water out here is pretty choppy, so I'm trying my best not to get motion sickness. <laughs> But I think I'm way too excited to see these wells to get sick. All right, so we've stopped, so now we wait. <laughs> we have spotted a blowhole. That's so cool. They're getting closer to us. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
So, as embarrassed as I am to tell you this, I have to tell you what happened on this whale watching tour. Ugh. So the first probably 15, 20 minutes was great. We saw some whales, it was nice. I was starting to feel a little sick and I even mentioned that I felt like I was too excited to get sick. <laughs> Uh, that was not the case. And not only did I get sick, but all three of us, me, Jimmy, and Natalie, we all three got sick. The only three Americans on this boat, <laughs> and we are literally hanging off the side of the boat sick on this three hour boat ride. <laughs> oh gosh, it was awful. I am very glad that I was able to get some clips of the whales. And another lucky thing was, I was hoping that the whales were gonna get close enough so that we could reach out and touch them. However, at one point, I just put the camera down. I could not do it anymore. I just put my head down and tried to focus on not getting sick. <laughs> Luckily, the whales never came up that close to where anybody could touch them, so we didn't miss out on anything. I, since I put the camera down, I didn't get any video of us getting sick, however, Jimmy <laughs> managed to get some clips of me and Natalie being absolutely miserable. <laughs> so their video will come out on Monday. I know that most of you all are subscribed to their channel already, but for the few of you that aren't subscribed to their channel already, I'll put a link down in the description of this video to their channel. Definitely go check it out because it's definitely worth watching. <laughs> There's nothing gross or anything like that on it, but it's definitely worth watching. I did happen to accidentally get a really quick clip of Jimmy, and he looks like he is not feeling well at all. But that's the only clip I got. We have actually made our way back to the fishing spot where we've been staying here in Guerrero Negro. A few nights ago, we moved to the other side of town. It was probably about 14 minutes on the other side of town, and it was a really nice place. There was sand dunes out there, so we went out there and explored those, and that was really fun. There's some parts of this that get really deep, and it feels like you're literally trudging through snow. Luckily, I'm not in Oklahoma right now because that's literally what they're doing. <laughs> but with it being so far out of town, we decided to come back on this side and stay here at this fishing spot because one, it's closer to town, and two, we're very comfortable here. We've stayed here several nights now, and we have had absolutely no problems. The only negative thing that we've come across on this camping spot is it f tends to flood. Um, normally, it's not too bad. However, the other day when we were here, it, it was pretty, pretty crazy. This is wild. Our only way out is completely flooded. Oh, can you hear me? Hey, Corey, I can hear you loud and clear. You ready to get wet? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I think the reason why that happened was because the 
first of all, the high tide, and then it was extremely windy. So I think that wind just pushed all the water up. And it hasn't happened today yet. Um, it's still pretty low right now. Um, we're gonna be leaving here pretty soon anyway, so we should be fine heading out. Which actually brings me to my next point, and that is we are leaving Guerrero Negro and heading south towards, and I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, Mulehe. I think that's how you pronounce it. The reason why we're heading there is because we wanna check out the, and here we go again, Bahia Concepcion. It is very beautiful down there from what we've seen in pictures, so we wanna check it out for ourselves. Overall, Guerrero Negro was great. But after a rather cold outdoor shower, we got back out on the road heading south down the Baja Peninsula towards Mulehe, which was a very beautiful drive. We found an amazing campsite right on the Bahia Concepcion and this has to be the best view so far. It is a bit crowded here, which is something we're not really used to on this trip, but that's because the view and the water look incredible out here. So pumping these paddle boards up, that's probably the least fun that we're gonna have on these. <laughs> they said that the maximum PSI on these uh, is 15. So we went ahead and pumped it up to 10. Hopefully that's enough because we're pretty wore out now from air pumping these up. <laughs> I don't know, now we just gotta, now we gotta get them in the water and then paddle around. <laughs> Are you gonna make it, Natalie? Just push me out to the water. <laughs> <laughs> So I've switched over to the GoPro and it's a little windy out here, but this is gonna be my first time on a paddleboard. So I am fully expecting to get wet on this little excursion of ours. <laughs> All right, bye guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, I am on the paddleboard on my knees. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna stand up on this. <laughs> Don't hit me over. I'm not <laughs> trying to do <laughs> Oh. I'm nervous. Wow. Alright, Corey, you got this. I don't plan on anything. Oh, okay, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's not too bad, just stay centered. Okay. Whoa, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, you look good. I think that'll be alright. I think that'll work. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks so good. <laughs> so we've been seeing these boats out in the distance and the current is just taking us right out to them. <laughs> it's beautiful out here though. Have you stood up yet? Not yet. The current is strong out here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ah. I'm not good at turning around while standing up. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright, here we go. So we just got back from being on the paddle boards and we decided to go for a walk. I haven't been down on this side of the beach very far, so I'm excited to check it out. I think Jimmy and Natalie have. You guys have been down here? 
Yes, there is yes. a secret private beach down here. It's oh. not that secret. Oh, okay. So a kind of secret beach down here. <laughs> down here has been so nice but during the day it gets hot so we're wearing shorts and t-shirts and then at night it quickly gets cold well uh, not cold but colder so we have to change into some warmer clothes <laughs> so before it gets too dark I wanted to show you all our campsite because this place is awesome and it did not cost very much per night to stay here. We did decide to pay a little bit, but I think it was a little over $70 for a whole week. So not that expensive at all. All right, so this is our campsite that we've been staying at. Hello, Jimmy. Hello. And Natalie. Hi. <laughs> and we have our own Palapa. And right now we're using it for paddleboard storage, which take up quite a bit of room. But Jimmy and Natalie backed into the spot and then I tried to form an L just so we had a little bit of privacy. And I think it worked out pretty well. Are you guys liking it here? Loving I'm loving it. it. <laughs> I don't know if you've told them yet, but most people are sharing these things and we're oh, yes. that where we pretty much have it to ourselves. We have a close neighbor, but I think they get their own, so I don't feel too bad about it. We lucked out. Yeah, definitely. This neighbor over here, this is look pretty much the back of their trailer, so they're hardly over here. So we really have this whole area to ourselves. So I think that's where I'm gonna end it this week. Even though the well watching didn't go quite as we planned, this trip has still been amazing. And honestly, I cannot believe I'm here right now. <laughs> But thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button and I will see you guys next Thursday.